Hi you. Now here we are going to discuss a new chapter called gravitation. This is a branch of physics that deals with the force acting between masses, between planets, between galaxies, like that. So we are going to study the concept based on the law stated by Sir Isaac Newton. This is the first one to give uh, a what to say clear kind of idea about uh, the force of interaction between two masses. But even before that, in the Acharyas we have given a detailed explanation about the planets, galaxies, now the heaven and all those things. But here we are taking this law by Newton and that law is called Newton's law of gravitation. Actually that law is stating the force between two masses, let that be M1 as the first mass and M2 as the second one. Then the force between these two at a distance r is said that the force of interaction between these two will be directly proportional to product of their masses that is m1 into m2 and the force is also inversely proportional to square of the distance this is what he proved that means the force acting between two masses separated by a distance r is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. So from that statement we can come to an equation that f proportional to m1 into m2 divided by r squared and that F equal to capital G into M1 into M2 divided by R square. This is the formula we are taking for calculating the force between two masses. We have introduced a constant called capital G. You all know this is called universal gravitational constant and its value is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square. So 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square. So using this particular equation, you can calculate the force between two masses. Now here. One thing is very clear, if the masses are very large, the force between them also is very large. But the distance between them is very large, the force will be decreasing. Okay? Now, about this gravitational force will be discussed, compared to magnetic or electromagnetic force and nuclear force, this gravitational force is negligible. This is what we say. Okay? So compared to that nuclear force and electromagnetic force, this gravitational force is negligible. But if you don't compare, then that force will be the force which is governing the motion of planets and governing the motion of galaxies. All that is determined by this very particular force called gravitational force. Okay? Now, <coughs> the range of the gravitational force, it's a very important thing, range of gravitational force. Up to what extent the force will be possible? 
that depends on the value of if this value is very large and if it is infinity if that value r is equal to infinity then the force is found to be zero then the force f is equal to zero so just before infinity force will be existing here so the upper limit of the force will be you can say up to infinite distance but how close these two masses can be how close these two masses can be then there is a problem here. this can be too close you say that the distance can be zero between them not possible when you come very close and the mass is very small then the force becomes molecular force and even less than that distance if you go it becomes atomic force and if it is nuclear distance you are saying the force becomes nuclear force so the closest distance between the two masses can be almost temperature to minus 9 newton approximately that just before the molecular force starts okay so molecular size only molecular force of attraction will be there so we are talking about the masses not molecules here so up to that process range you can have the gravitational force existing so almost temperature minus 9 newton to a distance of infinity you can have the gravitational force exist it's a very important thing to understand and another thing is that how to define this gravitational constant that also we have to understand defining gravitational constant you know that f equal to g when from this you get f equal to g when m1 equal to m2 equal to 1 kg and r equal to 1 meter am i right yes if m1 equal to m2 equal to 1 kg and r equal to 1 meter you will be getting that force f numerically equal to the gravitational constant so i can define gravitational constant as numerically equal to the force of attraction between two unit masses separated by unit distance okay Now the definition I said numerically equal to because the unit of gravitational constant is this one, but unit of force is Newton only. So in units and dimensions, we said that in physics two quantities are equal only when their units and their magnitudes are equal. okay so these are the points relating to the gravitational law or universal gravitational law stated by sir isaac newton 